a carry tree uh, find the uh, number of leaf nodes in a full carry tree okay of height m so k array tree is not a is not just binary tree it's a k array tree uh, also it's full full k array tree of height m not you have to return the answer modulo of 10 raised to 9 plus 7 so of course the answer will be pretty large so we need to take the modulo so if k is equal to 2 if m is equal to 2 so if k is equal to 2 means it's a binary tree okay k and height is 2 so uh, our uh, tree will be something like something like this one so now we have a height of 1 okay now in a full binary tree or in a full tree carry tree like uh, there will be there will be no uh, branches left like it it will be filled with the respective child nodes here if we can see it have left right this also have left and right there will not be any such cases as that one uh, node gets uh, wiped out so in a full tree like every level will be filled with uh, the child node so here we are having the length or height too so here if we can see we are having four child node so let's have a, uh, an observation here okay it's one case now we have k equal to 2 m equal to 1 so k equal to 2 m is equal to 1 so we have another binary tree and here our height is just 1 okay and we are having true two uh, leaf node at the end this is of for case 2 comma 1 this is for the case 2 comma 2 now let's uh, take uh, another like uh, a 3 with a height of 2 okay so we need to have like 3 child node okay here also this uh, node will be having three child this node will be having three child and this node will also be having three child okay so this height is now two so how many leaf node it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so can you see any pattern here if uh, it was a binary tree of length one there was two uh, leaf node if it is a binary tree of length two and uh, of, of of length two or the depth two we were having four if we are having a three what we can say carry tree um, where that k is three and height is two like we are having nine so is there any pattern that we are observing so the answer will be just k raised to whatever will be the depth modulo our depth okay so that's just our answer this is just what we are looking for let's also take one more example okay so this our answer will simply be this one liner k raised to m mode so let's also have some other tree say four okay it will be a four uh, tree for a tree with a depth of three so what must be our answer according to our result it must be four raised to three which is equal to four into four into four so this will be very large right so let's uh, 4 raised to 3 okay so 1 there must be 4 right we have one length now now each of this will be having another 4 okay 4 4 4 4 4, four. like this here the, there will be 16 then again like uh, sorry i took very large uh, let me just bring back uh, let me take another 
uh, what we can take let's say we are having a binary tree of length say four let's take that okay because the other one we, we will be giving 64 and 64 <laughs> child has to be drawn at the very end let's take two uh, a binary tree of depth 4 so our answer must be 2 raised to 4 that's what our observation came to be so let's have so we have uh, depth 1 okay now this again have another two childs okay this is of depth 2 now we have again another two child for the respective uh, nodes okay so what is 2 raised to 4 basically it is 2 into 2 4 into 4 16 so our answer must be 16 so now our length become 3 now the last depth so here yeah. okay okay It's another zero, 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 zero. It's a complete, it's a full, so not complete, it's a full carry tree. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yes, that's what we are looking for. So suppose if we are, if we were not having, if our depth was only three, then this will be our answer this will be our answer uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and that is equal to 2 raised to 3 so that's only what we need to look for so let's uh, do this uh, problem in python because there is a um, simple way a, a wine liner that we can do in python just we can do uh, we can make use of pow method where it takes uh, three values and the third value is an optional so if we take n1 n2 so basically if we take n1 n2 this means this generally means n1 raised to n2 it can also have a third parameter and if we are giving that third parameter say n1 n2 n3 this means we are taking n1 raised to n2 and the third parameter will be made for taking the modulus so that will be n3 so here we need to return our answer in the answer modulus we need to take the modulus 10 raised to 9 plus 7 so we can make uh, so we will be using the third parameter so the answer is just return power of k comma n comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 7 okay so uh, here it's correct let's submit so that's it the uh, just uh, one line of solution we can do it's just uh, after uh, making some observation like we will be able to know that the answer will be just k raised to m and the time complexity here the power like taking the power it will be of logarithmic yes it's, it will be logarithmic of n and the auxiliary space no extra space so that's our a problem of the day